so we'll start the next chapter which is work energy and power what is work work is nothing but it is the product of force and displacement but you have to also consider the angle between force and displacement so the formula becomes w is equal to fs cos theta cos theta you have studied in mathematics where theta is nothing but the angle between f and s and cos is trigonometric function just like sin cos tan cot cosec so we have cos you need to remember the value of uh, theta uh, cos value cos 0 the answer is 1 cos 90 is 0 cos 180 is minus 1 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 and cos 60 is half you need to remember this values because this will help you to solve numericals based on cos let us take the first case in this you can see a boy is pushing a box so he is applying the force and there is a displacement in the same direction means f and s are in the same direction so the theta value is 0 now you have studied cos 0 is 1 so the formula we will use it is fs cos theta f is 20 s is 5 and theta is 0 so cos 0 is uh, 1 so you get 100 newton meter work the si unit is newton meter or you can even say joule moving on to the next one case 2 the person is you can see is carrying the uh, maybe you can imagine him as a coolie coolie is lifting a load or a luggage on his head he is walking so his weight is acting downwards and he is walking so there is the angle of 90 degree you can see in the figure 90 now cos 90 is 0 so the work done will be 0 against the gravity if he is working the work is 0 case 3 is the friction you know that friction is always in the opposite direction it is the stopping force so opposite direction it means it is forming a linear pair so the angle is 180 so if if the work is done or you can say force is in the opposite direction of displacement we say the angle is 180 and cos 180 is minus 1 so the answer would be 30 into 5 into minus 1 that is minus 150 newton meter or you can even say joule case for work done by the force of gravity may be positive or negative positive is when force and displacement are in the same direction means when theta is 0 negative means when force and displacement are in opposite direction i am throwing a ball in upward direction so the displacement is upward but the force of gravity is downwards so both are in opposite direction the theta is 180 cos 180 is minus 1 so you get the value as negative when can i say the work done is positive when object is thrown downwards and the force the gravitational force is also downwards both are in same direction so force and displacement both are in same direction we will say the work done is positive because cos 0 is 1 now few numericals based on this there is one more force i can say what is what are the criteria for work done to be zero you will say when theta is 90 because cos 90 is zero which means when force and displacement are perpendicular to each other second criteria is when there is no force or no displacement like a small kid is pushing a table so he is applying force but there is no displacement so i will say work done is zero so there is a numerical you can see a body when acted acted upon a force of 100 newton force here is 100 newton it gets displaced by 0.5 meter calculate the work done by the force when the displacement is in the direction means first case you have to consider theta to be zero So you will use the formula W is F S cos theta cos theta is one here because theta is zero. So the formula will be F into S. 
100 into 0.5 that is 50 joule second at an angle 60 now cos 60 is half so f into s into cos 60 you can see here 100 into 0 0.5 into cos 60 is 0 0.5 that is half so you will get the value as 25 joules and third case when displacement is perpendicular perpendicular means 90 so you will use the formula fs cos theta your theta value is 90 so the work done is 0 clear moving ahead to the next problem a body of mass 40 kg climbs up the stairs and reaches the roof at a height of 8 meter in 5 seconds Calculate the force of gravity acting on the boy. So, force of gravity that is F. Gravity means M into G. M is 40 kg. G given in the question is 10. So, 40 into 10 is 400 Newton. Work done by him. Now, work done is F into S. You have got F. S is 8. So, 400 into 8, you will get 3200 joules. What is power? Power is nothing but work upon time or energy upon time. Power is defined as rate at which work is done. So, work we have got is 3 to double zero. Time given is 5 seconds. So, now we will divide this. 3 to zero zero divided by 5. Your answer will be 640 watt. W stands for watt. Now, there are many numericals based on this. In this numerical again the question the energy is given energy is nothing but the work okay whenever you find work you can replace that by energy displacement given is 64 meter and time given is 2.5 the force applied so w is fs w given is 6.4 kilojoules so you will convert into joules force i don't know displacement is 64 so, using this formula, you will get the value of force that is 100 Newton. Now, what is the power spent in HP? HP means what? It is horsepower. HP means horsepower. One horsepower is 746 watt. So, first you will find power. Power is work upon time. Work is given that is 6400 upon time is 2.5. You will get 2560 watt. Then, then you will use unitary method. One horsepower is 746 watt. Then dash horsepower will be 2560 watt. So end you will get 2560 divided by 746. Answer will be 3.43 horsepower. Clear? So you can do this type of sums. Now we will do this one. An electric heater of power 3 kilowatt. Now the SI unit of power is watt. So you will say 3000 watt. Is used for 10 hours. Time given is 10 hours. How much energy is consumed? The formula of power is energy by time. So energy will be power into time. Power given is 3 kilowatt. And time given is 10 hours. So when you multiply you will get 30 kilowatt hour. Remember, we get electricity bill, right? The bill which we get, that is in kilowatt hour. We pay the bill. Next sum. Here we are going to use a new formula. We have studied power is work upon time. Now, work can be written as Fs. So, power becomes Fs upon time. Where S is displacement, T is time. What is displacement by time? Displacement by time is nothing but velocity. So we get F into V. So you, you will use the formula power is equal to FV. Question is an ox can apply a maximum force of 1000 Newton. It is taking part in a cart race and it is able to pull a cart at a constant speed of 30 meter per second. Calculate the power. If you read it carefully, 1000 Newton is the force given. Speed that is nothing but velocity is 30 meter per second. So power is F into V. F is 1000 into V that is 30. So 1000 into 30 is 
30,000 watt, which I can write it as 30,000 kilowatt. Using the same formula, we will do the next sum. Power of a motor is 40,000 kilowatt. At what speed can the motor raise a load of 20,000 newton? Your power is given, but it is in kilowatt. So you will convert that multiplying by 1000. You will get 40,000 kilowatt. Force given is 20,000. You need to find the speed. So power is equal to FV. F is uh, given is 20,000 V we need to find so velocity is power by force which is 40,000 by 20,000 answer will be 2 unit is 2 meter per second next it takes 20 seconds for person A of mass 50 kg to climb up the stairs so we have person A mass is 50 kg uh, it, he takes 20 seconds to climb another person be of same mass means he is also having mass of 50 kg does the same work in 15 seconds they have asked here us to compare the work done now the work done work does not depend on time what was the work work is to go up or you climb the stairs so both of them have done the same work Whenever the word compare comes, means you need to find the ratio. Example, there are two person X and Y. I asked them, both of them to run a race of 100 meter. Who did more work? Both of them did the same work. Because mass of both are say same 50. And both ran a race of 100 meter. Does not depend on time. It might happen that person A has completed in 10 seconds. Person B has completed in 5 seconds. But the work does not depend on time. So both of them have done same work. So if I find the ratio, it will be 1 is to 1. They have asked you to find the power. Now who is more powerful? The one who will do the work in less time. So second person who has completed in 15 seconds is more powerful. So power formula is work upon time. So you will say power of A upon power of B is work of A upon time of A upon work of B upon time of B. Now work is 1 is to 1. It depends on TA and TB. TA is time of A. TB is time of B. So RHS you will get 1 upon TA upon 1 upon TB. Next step denominators denominator goes in the numerator. So you will get TB upon T. So that is 15 upon 20. You will divide by 5. You get 3 by 4. And the answer is correct. Why? Because A and B, if you compare, B is more powerful. So the ratio is 3 is to 4. You, you can refer this. So B was faster. Hence, the power generated by him was also more. Similar sum. A boy of weight 40 kgf climbs up 15 steps. Each 15 centimeter high in 10 seconds. And a girl of 20 kgf does the same in 5 seconds. Compare the work done and power. Here you cannot say they have done same work. Because work depends on mass. Does not depend on time but it depends on mass. First person mass is 40 kg. Second the mass is 20. So if you compare the work done of first is more. Right. For example your mass is set for 40. Your parents masses say 60 you are doing the same work but who will get tired your dad or your mom your so the work done is 2 is to 1 now power generated power is nothing but work upon time so first one the work is 2 time is given 10 second so power of first person will be it will be 40 sorry it will be 2 by 10 which is 1 by 5 and the power of second will be work upon time work is 1 upon 5 so if you check the numerator is 2 by 10 denominator is 1 by 5 now 2 by 10 is nothing but 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 upon 1 by 5 answer will be 1 so here we complete the first part of the chapter that is work next we will start with energy remember work and energy both are same Whenever I say work, you can replace that by energy and vice versa. Because if I have more work, I can do 
if i have more energy i can do more work if i want to do more work i need to have more energy similarly if i have less energy i can do less work so work and energy both are same